And what if it didn't kill him? With all due respect, your best guess is still just a guess. We need to have faith in the possibility of good. Wait, hold on. His oxygen consumption's going up. I think he's alive. He's conscious. Hey, go steady down there. You've been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. They thought you were dead. If it wasn't for your life suit, you probably would be. Listen, there's been a complication. We can't link it to your POV camera, and it looks like communications are only working one way. You can hear me, I hope, but I can't hear you. That means we don't know how badly you were affected by the transportation. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious psychological damage, especially to your memory. Even a few hours out there in the dark can cause permanent problems. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mission Control are concerned you might have no idea who you are or why you're in there. If that's true, I have some difficult facts for you. You're a long way from Earth. A very long way. But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, whatever it is, is gonna hit Earth in the next few hours. And if it does, that's the end of everything. You need to decipher and dismantle it from the inside before that happens. I just hope you haven't forgotten how. We all do. Now listen carefully. This is important. The reason why it's me talking to you and not mission control is because you're too far out into deep space. Their signal can't reach you out there, but mine can. I'm Commander Novak. I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. I'm gonna relay everything they tell me, but the bad news is, every time I orbit around the far side of the Earth, I'll move out of radio range. When that happens, you're gonna be on your own for a while. Just stay calm and keep your head straight until I get back into range. Okay, this is it. I'm orbiting out of range now. I'll be back soon. Mit diesem spärlichen Wissen werden wir in eine befremdliche Umgebung geworfen, die sich scheinbar beliebig verändern kann. Es ist, als würde man uns einen vorherbestimmten Weg entlang schicken, um Rätsel zu lösen. Nach und nach werden wir an neue Mechaniken herangeführt, die wir brauchen, um unseren Weg fortzusetzen. Zwischenzeitlich scheint uns die Umgebung feindlich gesonnen. Nur knapp entgehen wir einer erdrückenden Niederlage. Die Wortfetzen, die uns erreichen, sind mysteriös. Offenbar versucht uns noch jemand zu erreichen. In Ermangelung an Optionen machen wir weiter. Neue Abschnitte, neue Rätsel, neue Mechaniken. Hello? Can you hear me? Huh. No point 
point saying that, is there? Okay. I'm gonna have faith. I'm at the peak of my orbit again, so fingers crossed this is getting to you. I've been speaking with Mission Control. They're worried about you. Because your radio's out, we don't know if you've lost your memory or not. If you have, it could... It could be bad for the mission. One of the methods they use to bring back memories for amnesiac patients is to talk to them about important events in their lives. So, before you left, you wrote yourself a letter. Just in case. It's a letter to you about you. Mission Control gave me a transcript. We think it's for the best that I read some of it to you. Okay, well, first, you're married. You have no children. You live in Colorado Springs, but you got married in Iceland. That's nice. You... Damn. I'm orbiting out of range. I'll read more if you're still there. Nach diesem kurzen Gespräch geht unsere Reise weiter. Die Rätsel nehmen scheinbar kein Ende und werden immer schwieriger. I'm back in range. Fingers crossed. Look, Mission Control think that if you have lost your memory, me just giving you little details about yourself won't be enough to spark anything. They want me to read something more specific. Something very personal to you. So, I want you to know. I'm only reading this because you wrote it to yourself. It was 3 p.m. on a Sunday. You were upstairs at home. A teenage boy broke into your house. He thought you were away on vacation. You went downstairs with your gun. You shot him in your living room. Only he wasn't trying to rob you. He was passing by and saw a fire in your kitchen. He broke in to try and put it out. He was young and stupid and probably should have thought of a better solution. But you assumed the worst. You assumed the very worst and you shot him. He was paralyzed from the neck down. He died, seven years later, alone, at night, in Penrose St. Francis Hospital. I'm orbiting out. I hope that helped you. Fingers crossed. Zwischenzeitlich scheint sich sogar die Physik der Umgebung zu verändern. Kann die Umgebung die Gravitation willkürlich verändern? You listen. I know you can hear me down there. She's lying to you. She's a liar. You're not where they say you are. They'll leave you alone to die in the dark. Mit diesen Worten verfällt die Umgebung in Finsternis und wir setzen unseren Weg unter erschwerten Bedingungen fort. I hope you can hear me. The lights on the outside of the cube have gone dark. Mission Control think that's good. They say you must have hit it somewhere that hurts. So keep doing what you're doing. I know it's tough being alone out there. I've been alone here on the International Space Station for over a month. 
round and round and round the earth. And after a while, it messes with your head. The truth is, if you leave a person alone in the dark long enough, they'll lose themselves. Damn. I'm orbiting out of range. Keep going. I'll be back soon. I don't have much power left. I've been listening from inside my box. They say you're out in space. You're not. You're underground. They buried you alive down there so they could test you. They're going to test you and test you until you rot into dust. And they do something to your memory. They did it to mine. They don't want you to remember who you are because if you don't know what's happening, you'll have faith that it will end. You'll have faith that someone will let you out of the dark, but they won't. You have to rip that faith out of your skull and replace it with truth. Or you'll die down there. In der Tat, die Umgebung scheint mehr im Testgelände zu gleichen als einem Ort, an dem wir Dinge tun, um die Welt zu retten. Doch warum sollte man uns täuschen? Was gibt es für die anderen zu gewinnen? Okay, fingers crossed, you can hear me again. I have good news. Actually, two pieces of good news. We've started to see a definite effect on the cube itself. Parts of the outer layer seem to be coming apart. Whatever you're doing in there is working great. Second piece of good news. Mission control say you're almost close enough for them to contact you directly. So we're going to organize a link up to your wife. She is dying to talk to you. Just keep going and we'll make it happen. I'm orbiting out of range again, so good luck. And be careful. I haven't got much power left, so open your ears. Doubt is like a tiny plant trying to push its way towards the light. But as soon as she sees it poking out of the dirt, she pours on more soothing words to kill it. You're making the cube fall apart. You're going to get to talk to your wife. You're going to get out. You're going to go home. You're going to save the whole earth. That's her poison. And you're drinking it. If you want it to stop, you have to stop it. Zu den verunsichernden Worten kommt nun auch eine Veränderung der Umgebung hinzu. Etwas stimmt hier ganz und gar nicht. Talking to you is therapeutic. Especially for me, actually. What I said before, 
about how being alone out here can mess with you. It's messed with me too. I can't talk to Mission Control about it or they'd cut me short. I figure, with your radio out, Fifteen days ago, I was on a spacewalk on the outside of the station. I was replacing one of the old communication antennas. The sun was disappearing over the western edge of the earth behind me. And it gets so quiet up there, so dark. Sometimes you can't be sure you're there at all. I finish the job, I start to move away, and, uh, and I hear this voice. Only, it's my voice. Not in my mouth, not in my head, but outside, next to my ear. It's the only way I can explain it. And the voice, it said, it said, God is dead. <laughs> and it scared the hell out of me. I grabbed my tether and pulled myself back into the airlock and shut the door. I know it's just my brain keeping itself busy. And that's why we do isolation tests before we go out. But Christ. I'm orbiting out of range. I'm sorry. Keep going. Please keep going. Das Areal wird immer brüchiger und unsere Kontaktpersonen scheinen verzweifelt. Machen wir doch Fortschritte? Die Welt um uns wirkt mehr und mehr zerfallen und die Rätsel scheinen kaum noch zu funktionieren. Wir kommen immer langsamer voran. Und dann geschehen mehr und mehr seltsame Dinge. Listen to me. The whole thing is bullshit. I can see on your camera, look around you. You really think this is an alien craft? The colors, the symbols, they're all human. They're all things you can understand and solve. It's all part of it. And you think the cube is really falling to pieces? The hanging wires, the holes in the wall, none of them lead you anywhere, they don't want you to go. You need to lose your faith. Einerseits scheint die Stimme recht zu haben. Die Löcher und Brüche führen nirgendwo hin. Doch andererseits wirkt das alles nicht so, als könnten Menschen es geschaffen haben. Dinge, die schweben, die wandelbaren Gänge und Räume. Crossed, you're getting this. Um, look, I, I have some bad news. That link up with your wife, it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. But hey, you're almost on the home stretch anyway. You'll get to see her soon. By the way, I noticed some kind of uh, interference on your signal frequency. It's probably just a wave of radiation passing by the cube. I'll look into it. Everything you're doing is great. Keep doing it.
heard in her voice than you. The lies catching in her throat. Did you really believe that the fate of the planet depends on you solving puzzles in a box? They lie to give you just enough hope to keep you where they want you, alone in the dark. Just you and the voices in your head. Hello? Who is this? Who are you and how are you on this frequency? Sir, this is a private government channel. I don't know how you're broadcasting out here, but what you're doing is illegal. What is your name? You people scrub my name out of my head. All I am is a number you gave me. 919. And you can pretend all you want, but now he knows the truth. No faith, just facts. Hello? Hello? Listen to me. I have no idea who that person is. Whatever he's been saying to you, you need to ignore it. If he contacts you again, just blank it out. I'll contact Mission Control and find out what the hell is going on. I'm orbiting out of range, but remember, your mission is everything. The entire world is depending on you. Kurz sehen wir den Kurs, auf dem wir zu Beginn waren. Doch er ist für uns unerreichbar. Mit den neu gewonnenen Fähigkeiten können wir die Umgebung nun selbst beeinflussen und sie wird immer eigentümlicher. malfunction and fall out of orbit. The shuttle's name was 919. They lost contact. It drifted out into deep space, and everyone assumed the astronaut on board was dead. It's possible that his suit kept him alive. There's a photosynthetic layer, just like yours, that converts light into proteins and oxygen. But they didn't think it could last that long. The astronaut's name was Jonathan Burns. And if he is Jonathan Burns, he's been alone in the dark for a very, very long time. He'll be confused. He may not know where he is or who he is. Here we go. I'm orbiting out of range. I'm warning you. Deep space and isolation destroy the mind. Don't listen to that voice. Mit immer schwereren Rätseln konfrontiert schreiten wir voran. Die Zweifel und Fragen nagen an uns. chance she's lying that's how people lie with lots of little details they tell you about a date a time a name it makes it seem real but it's not real christ we're probably in the same goddamn box i'm going to bang on the wall listen Banging, but you have to believe what I'm saying. I wait. Oh my god, the name they told you, Jonathan Burns. It's not a name, it's a threat. You're Jonathan, and they're going to burn you. Jesus Christ, they're gonna make you walk right into the incinerator. Oh god, I'm losing signal. Don't listen to her. Oh god, you need to get out of there right now! The whole thing is... The whole thing is... 
coming apart. There's an escape shuttle dead ahead. Get in and go! No, it's not a shuttle. It's a coffin. And they want you to launch yourself into the incinerator. You knew the second you woke up here. I know you knew it. Our fingers are crossed behind her back. Go! Don't listen to him! He's crazy! He's lying! I don't know! Get in the shuttle! They're trying to jam my signal! Don't listen to her! Please, I, I don't want you to die! That's the only thing they want! I'm moving out of range. Please, go! Do you think it's a coincidence there are no windows to prove you're in outer space? They already buried you. Don't kill yourself for them too! someone special on the line for you. It's me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. I knew you would do it. I knew you would, but... Just come home now, okay? Please, just come home. Here's something I never thought I'd say. The President wants to talk to you. Go ahead, sir. Well, thank you just doesn't quite cut it, does it? You haven't just saved the lives of every person on this planet. You found a life we thought was lost forever. Captain Jonathan Burns of Shuttle 919. And Captain Burns, now we know you're out there. We will not rest until we bring you home, no matter what. I assure you, you are found. As for you, you may have had your doubts through all this, but you persevered. In life, we don't get proof until it's done. That's how humanity achieves great things. By having faith in the possibility of good. Hier endet unsere Reise. So viel ist geschehen, so viele unbeantwortete Fragen. Doch vielleicht finden wir Antworten in Cube 2. Bis dahin, euer M.